So if you want to take a snippet from your full video that maybe you just finished editing and post that to social media, something like LinkedIn, Facebook, or Instagram, but you only need really a small bit, or maybe you need to send this to somebody to have them review it. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that very easily and very quickly in Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so here we are over in Final Cut Pro. In the previous video, I showed you how to turn this from your regular 1920 by 1080 p video or 4K so that it's full width and use the smart conform in Final Cut Pro so that it's resized for Instagram reels, TikTok, YouTube, whatever you want to post it to. And I only just want to do like the first few seconds of it. Um, and this is already converted into a vertical video, but I would have to get rid of all of this other stuff on the timeline. And I just kind of don't want to. So to use this feature now, what I want to do is go here in a small space, how wide of an angle you can actually get. So I've been rocking with the Sigma 16 millimeter lens for quite some time now. And I had, to so let's say about there, I'm going to go ahead and bring this down to kind of really fade that down. just so it kind of fades out millimeter lens for quite some time now. And I had the same questions that you probably did, which is why you're watching this. And that's just to see. Okay. So somewhere about here, I only want to do this. So what we want to do, you can go up here is click this range selector. Or if you are just already on the timeline, you hit the R on your keyboard, then it will pick up and you can select a specific range that your video is going to be and then drag the end to come down to about here. And this will pick anything that is above or below this. And now I can go up here to export the file. All right. So now we have the finished video. So let's go over and see what it looks like. So if you're considering picking up the Sigma 16 millimeter lens, you're probably trying to figure out how much space do you actually need to get shots like this to be close to the lens and get a blurry background? Well, today I'm pulling out my handy dandy tape measure and we're going to be bouncing around the office so you can see just in a small space how wide of an angle you can actually get. So the range selection is a fantastic tool just to make sure you only pick a specific range of the video and export that so you don't have to deal with the rest of the timeline and adjusting a whole bunch of stuff. So let me know if this tip was helpful for you and if you want more Final Cut Pro tutorial tips and otherwise guys, a little passion. I'll see you in the next video.